Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the third question of Lead Code by Weekly Contest 42. Name of the problem is maximum binary string after change. So we are given a binary string and we can do the following two operations. The first operation is if we find a substring as 00, 0 then we can convert it to 10. And if we find a sum string as 10, 0 then we can convert it to 0, 01. Now we have to return the maximum binary string that we can obtain after doing the following operations any number of time. For example, here we have triple zero double one zero and what we can do is we can take the starting one zero and then we can convert it to zero one and then with this string we can take the initial zero zero and we can convert it to one zero and then we can take these two double zeros and then we can convert it to one zero and then we can do the following two operations the final string that we are going to obtain is triple one zero double one and this is the optimal string in this case, the binary string is 0, 1 and we can see that after doing any transformation, actually we cannot do any transformation in this. So it is going to remain same. Now let us try to build the solution for this problem step by step. So for example, if we are given 1, 0, we already saw that for 1, 0 there is no possible operation. So it is going to remain same. Now let's say if we are given 0, 0. Now in 0, 0, the only operation that is given to us is to convert it to 1 0 okay now let us say we are given two zeros and there are a certain number of ones between these zeros so let's say there's only one one number of one so now this is the string now what we can do is we can take these two and we can convert it to 0 1 this is the second operation so the string will be 0 0 1 so this is actually this string is smaller than the previous one but then we can do another operation that is taking these two and we can convert these to one zero one and this will be the this will be the greatest among these two so let us take another example for more clarity so let us take certain number of ones between these two zeros and now what we can do is we can convert these two and we can get 0 1 it is going to remain same then we can take these two and we can convert this as well it will be converted to 0 1 these two are going to remain same then again we can take this 1 0 and we can convert it to 0 1 so it is going to be 0 0 1 1 1 now we saw that if we have two zeros we can bring them together or we can say that we can bring the right zero we can shift it and merge it with the left zero so we can obtain this configuration and once we obtained this configuration what we can do is we can simply convert it to one zero and doing this is going to give us the best results now once we obtain this so the solution for this one is one zero one 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 now let's say we have some more number of zeros so let's say there's one more zero here so we can do the same thing we can bring this zero at this position and shift all these ones to the right side the binary string that we are going to obtain is one zero it is going to remain same and this zero will be shifted here so it will be zero and then triple one now after this we can convert this double zero to one zero again so it will be one one zero one 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 okay so what we can conclude so this zero let's say if this zero is uh, getting shifted this is zero that is getting shifted and it is going to shift to the right side as many times as there are more number of zeros to the right so in this case there were there were there was only one zero at the right of the leftmost zero so it got shifted one place to the right and the answer was one zero one 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 now if we had two zeros then this zero will be shifted one more place to the right and the answer will be double one zero triple one so this is the pattern that we have to recognize the first thing is there's only going to be one zero in the final answer and the second thing is the leftmost zero we want to shift the leftmost zero to the right place and so that we can obtain the maximum binary number and in order to do that we will have to count how many zeros are there to the right of this zero 
and that will be the answer so for example if we have this so in this what we can do is you can take this chunk first if you are taking this chunk then the answer for this will be this zero will be shifted to this place it will come here and all these ones will be shifted to the right side so it will be zero zero one 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 and then we can convert these two so it is going to be one zero one 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 so this will be the answer up to this much then we have another zero here if we have another zero then we can also shift this zero to this place and we can do the same operation then we will obtain one one uh, this zero will come here it is going to be zero zero one 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 and this will be converted to one zero again so it is going to be one one zero one 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 so this zero got shifted two places to the right then if we have one more zero then it will be shifted to one more place to the right and so on so what simply we can do is we can see the leftmost zero so we see the leftmost zero is here then we can count how many zeros are there to the right side of this so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten ten zeros to the right of this then the final answer will be containing the final answer will only contain one zero and that will be uh, 10 places right of this zero so the first thing is to count how many zeros are there in total let us count the number of zeros if b of i is equal to 0 then c plus plus c is the count we are taking b as the binary string okay so now we have the total count of zeros now after this we can go one by one and let us see where the first zero is coming so if b of i is equal to zero this is the first place where we see zero and we have to shift the zero to the right side how many times c minus one times because uh, why c minus one because one of the zero is this zero itself so let us create an answer we know that the final answer will contain only one number of zero so string answer it will be of size n okay and it is only containing ones now answer of i plus c minus one this one this index is going to be zero as this zero is shifted to the right side c minus one times and then we can return the answer from here okay so now let us try to run this on test cases it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit it and it got accepted so we are using big o of an extra space here in order to create this answer if we are uh, considering this and the time complexity is big o of n again because we are traversing the entire string b so this question was uh, more based on the pattern recognition so if you start from considering two zeros then also you can look at the pattern here the pattern is this will be converted to one zero uh, basically it means that the final answer will only contain one zero and this zero will be shifted to the right side and if we go to more number of ones so if these are the number of ones then we can see we can always shift this uh, right zero towards the left side although it might seem that we are reducing the value of binary string so this will be the final binary string and then we can convert it to one zero if we have one more zero here then we can shift this zero towards uh, the leftmost zero we can convert one zero to zero one and then again one zero to zero one so the configuration will be one zero zero one 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 and then we can convert these two it will be one one zero one 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 similarly as many zeros are there to the right side of this particular zero we are going to shift we will be able to shift this zero more towards the right side and that is the optimal strategy we want to shift the zero as many places to the right side as possible so this is it for the video 
uh, you can subscribe to our channel there are so many tutorials on our channel you can see the playlist over here playlists are based on topics and there are playlists based on the difficulty level as well this is for the hard lead code problems this is for medium then you have playlist according to the companies as well and recently I created the solutions to the problems which are in parts like this one buy and sell stock and the other one is stone game the next one that I'm going to do is the jump game so do subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out any future videos and hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications you can also join our telegram group if you want to raise any doubts or make any suggestions and you can follow me on LinkedIn